In this video, you'll learn how to customize the content and size of row preview sections using grid view events. First, you'll customize the text to include values from multiple data fields. Then, you'll specify preview section height for individual sections based on their content. And finally, you'll use a custom draw event to add images to previews. Let's start with a grid control that has row preview sections enabled where you show values from the description field. First, we'll see how you can extend these preview sections with values from two more fields, MPG City and MPG Highway. At design time, access the grid view settings and write a handler for the calc preview text event. Declare a separate calculate my preview text method that obtains the data row using the row handle parameter and then obtains values of three fields, MPG city, MPG highway, and description. If the description is empty, then the method simply returns an empty string. Otherwise, it returns a string that combines values from all three fields. Now call this method in the event handler to specify the preview text parameter value and thus customize the text to be displayed. When you run the application, you'll see that only the first string is displayed, since the grid will not calculate preview height automatically for custom text. Set the preview line count property to 5 to see that the description field values are also displayed. Of course now all preview sections reserve the space for 5 lines of text, even if it's not needed. Even if the preview text is empty, the empty space is still displayed. To fix this, close the application and write a handler for the grid view's measure preview height event. If the description field value is an empty string, the code sets the height to zero. Otherwise, the height is set to the height of the image in that row using the yet undefined get row image function. Now define this function so that it obtains the bitmap from the image field in the specified row. And let's run the application. You'll see that all preview sections containing text display more than one row by default. Rows that have empty description field values don't show previews. Now let's add images. Return to design time and handle the custom draw preview event. The get image method that you use to calculate preview height will obviously be useful here as well. The obtained image is drawn using the graphics parameter. Then calculate the rectangle where you want to paint the text. The left top corner is initialized taking into account the image width and an additional 20 pixel offset. The rectangle's width is also adjusted to fit the image. The next step is to obtain the text, which is done using the calculate my preview text method declared in the beginning of this video and used in the calc preview text event. Finally, specify the trimming style and draw the text. Set handled to true to disable default painting. And run the application to see the result. You can now hide the columns that display the same information as shown in row preview sections. 